Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss the architecture of iPhone operating system. Now let's start from introduction. The architecture of iOS is a layered architecture. It layers and there are four layers in the architecture of iOS. At the uppermost level, the iOS works as an intermediate between the hardware and the applications that user make. The applications do not communicate directly to the hardware. They communicate with each other by using the system interfaces. Now what these interfaces do? These interfaces allow the users to write the applications that works constantly on the devices that have capability to run those applications. The lowest layer of the architecture gives the basic services to the user on which the application depends. Higher level layer allows the user to include the graphics and interfaces related services. Apple provides most of its system interfaces in special packages called framework. This means what framework consists of? It is a directory that holds shared library, files and header files, images and helper apps required to support that library. Every layer has a set of framework which the developer can use to develop their applications. Now this is a diagram showing the architecture of iOS. The architecture of iOS consists of four layers. Level is called the lowest layer is called as core OS. The uppermost layer is called as Cocoa Touch. On the uppermost layer that is Cocoa Touch, the user interact directly with the application. Now we will discuss the architecture in detail. At the at the bottom you can see there is hardware. Now this is a hardware device that can be your desktop PC or laptop on which you design and use your iOS applications. Now above the hardware there is a core OS layer. Now what is the function of core OS layer? It holds the low level features that most other technologies are built upon. It means and these technologies are core Bluetooth that means it provides the services related to Bluetooth. Second is security services. It provides the services related to the security of your application. Third is external accessory. It means it allows your system to attach to the external hardware devices. Next is accelerate means it keeps means it rate the speed of your application. And last is local authentication. That means it allows the authenticated user to log in into your system and access these applications. The layer above the core OS layer is called as core service layer. Now what is the function of this core service layer? It provides the various services like core location, core foundation, core data, CF network, home kit, event kit, system configuration. Now what core location component is? It provides the services related to the location of your application. Now next is core foundation. What core foundation do? It is an interface that provides the data management and service feature for your iOS application. Next is core data. It provides the technology to manage your data. The new now HomeKit framework here is the new framework for talking with and controlling connected devices in users' home. Now next is event kit that is responsible for controlling all the events. Means it is an event handler. Next is system configuration. It stores all the services and files related to the configuration of your system. Now the layer above the core service layer is media layer as its name is services related to your media that can be audio video that can be audio files video files graphics animations and many more first is core graphics now what core graphics do it is a native drawing engine for your ios application it provides support for image based responsible for providing the animation services next is open gi es and gl kit it manages advanced 2D and 3D rendering by hardware accelerated interfaces. Means it uses interface to handle the 2D and 3D rendering of your hardware. It handles core media means it handles all the audio video interfaces. And last is AV foundation. AV foundation gives advanced video playback and recording capability. Now the uppermost and last layer is Cocoa Touch layer. Now what Cocoa Touch now it is it provides a framework like ui kit that means user interface kit through which the user interact with the application second is map kit now what map kit provides it gives a scrollable map that you can include into your user interface of application next is event kit now what event kit do even gives the view controller for showing the standard system interfaces to see and altering calendar related events message ui Message UI as its name is indicating, it is an 
that is used by the user to communicate with their application through the messages next is game kit that is used to interact with the game applications push kit it provides a registration support for voice over internet protocol applications thanks for watching this video see you in the next video in this session we have discussed architecture of iphone in the next in the next session we will discuss the ios project structure these are the references.